I remember having a conversation with Lewis actually, and I was like, mate, what's it? I think it was after the 2015 Worlds, and I'd done a P bar final. I was like, what's it like at the Olympics? And like, what's you know, you've done two, got two medals at, in each. Yeah. And he said to me, like, long story short, he just said, Niall, I promise you, nothing will ever prepare you for an Olympic final. Yeah. Like, nothing. And in my head, I was like, well, surely, I've just done a world final, yeah. which is with the same people, the same scale, like, in terms of the arena, etc. And so I was like, well, whatever. But I don't know if I agree. And it, once we walked out at the bar final, so there's, there's eight guys walking towards that high bar. And I stepped, I was I walked up onto the podium to chalk up. And then I remembered the conversation. At the short bucket, I remember the conversation. I was like, holy shit, he's exactly right. Like nothing in the world could have prepared me for this, the way I felt. And it's just something about the, the enormity of the event, the pinnacle of the event, the whole dream of the Olympic yeah. dream. And then the, it's not really playing through your mind, but you remember, this is one shot. <laughs> and you've got the only chance you're going to get another potentially another shot of this is in another four years yeah. so at that point you're thinking I'm going to have to take this shot yeah mate. <laughs> but I didn't think I didn't really think that I want to laughter when it settled yeah, down you reflect like, I think how did I do it when you stood under that bar what was was did you say anything what's the last did it change from what you would normally say when you stand under that bar you're just about I to jump up you just because you know how do you start do you start like dead hang or a little bit of a swing a little like, bit of a swing so do you have any thinking space when you're just about to jump up is it like come on fuck you can yeah, like every, yeah, everything. Or is it like, like just concentrate on the Can't. technique and the process of each element? Like, what is what was your my, head just in my head? My head's always about the process and just yeah. doing the best gymnastics yeah. in that, like, yeah. like you said, sixty seconds, yeah. whatever it is. But like verbally, out loud, yeah. I'm very positive. Yeah. Like, well, all we I'm hear saying that. in my we head is, yeah. all I'm saying is, like, come on, I can do this. I can do this. I've done it a million times. You are awesome. Like I am awesome. Just filling myself with yeah. positive because he's in getting that environment and just think, yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, oh my god. What if? What if? You know? What yeah, if I mess up? I'm scared. Yeah. This is uncomfortable. Of course, it's uncomfortable. It's out of your comfort zone. But like the more you can, then I believe, positive. You know, self like your thoughts they drive your feelings yeah. and then they drive yeah, like, yeah. essentially your performance yeah. at the end of the day. So my thoughts are like. I'm gonna fucking smash this. <laughs> like, as much as it's yeah, like yeah. Horrific, like horrifically uncomfortable. It is, but but it's like an excitement, sort of comfortable. Any and anyway, I don't know if it's the same with you. I don't remember a thing on the bar. Oh, like, no, it's no, a no, 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 no. It's, it's a it's weird sort of state. Auto, you get it's, into, yeah, it's, it's, it's muscle automatic. memory or autopilot. Hundred percent. I remember standing under. You can't even like feel. It's like you don't feel you don't the, when you clue. catch the bar. You don't feel it. It's like. It's, it's hard I to... I swear to God, I couldn't tell you a thing on a bar. Do you get this? Because I get... When it's a big moment and it's a bar... Particularly on high bar, it's a bar routine. And you know, like, everyone talks about, like, tunnel vision and all that. It is a thing. I can't hear. Fuck all that's going... It's me and the bar. <laughs> yeah. It's like everything else goes black and white, mate. There's just me and the bar. I can't hear the... Like, Nothing. when I'm properly in that zone... And, like, it's not every time. You know, like, last week, like, if we're competing, like, London Open, like, I know it's things that I hit. But when I'm, like, properly... When you've trained six months, you're in peak condition. Yeah. You've like done that routine like so many times. When you're in that zone, it's just me in that bar, man. It's just me in that bar, and like yeah. it's special. And it's you're, special, you're, you're, I think you're like this hundred percent. But like in those big, big moments, right when I hundred percent when I have to do it, like people talk about me and my consistency a lot of time. But when I when you prepared me, I'm ready. I've done six months of preparation, and in that moment. I back myself hundreds every single time. I back myself every single time. That's what that's the state yeah. you need to be in, don't you? And like, but then yeah, I don't remember it. Uh, I remember still underneath it, grabbing it, and then my feet hitting the floor. Yeah. That's all I remember. It's just all muscle memory that's autopilot. Just a beautiful a blur. routine. Man. Just yeah, it was sick, routine, mate. Man. I was just so regardless <laughs> of the. Well, initially I was like, the way I felt in that situation, I was so happy that I hit a routine. Yeah, I just didn't yeah, want yeah. like it was six eight. It want my seven because I didn't do the half and the connect whatever. But I hit a routine yeah, and it was yeah, clean yeah, yeah. and I stuck my dismat. I enjoyed yeah, that. Yeah. But that stick got me the medal because. Yeah, yeah. But and then the whole part after that, I was third up. So you're waiting for another five, five guys. Five guys to go. Yeah. I was more. Mm-hmm. That was a whole different fucking experience because I'm. Do you I'm feel, out of control yeah, now? I'm, I can't do anything now. Do you feel conflicted as well? Because sometimes in that moment when you're waiting for scores, I'm like. I don't want this guy to fuck up, 
Yeah, because I'm not that guy. I'm not a bad guy. Like, how do you feel in that moment? I find it weird. I'm like, I just kinda in like, my head, I'm, I'm like, watching, like, in my head, I'm like, do you know what? I want you to do a good routine. Like, I want you to, I want to beat everyone when everyone's at their best. Like, I want them to do a good routine. Yeah, yeah. But like, if I'm better, like, I, I believe I'm better, so I should get a better score. It's not like I don't ever think. Well, I hope you fall. I hope you fuck up. It's not that. It's not like because people not in the probably watch on TV and they're thinking like yeah, that guy. But that's just not how we're brought up. Yeah, you know it's what not I mean? in the nature of our sport. Yeah. But that was horrific. <laughs> it felt like the longest. It was like it felt like four hours. You know, just waiting yeah. and like watching the guys. Because I'm like, like you say, um, and mate, Sam McCool that went after me straight after, and I scored fifteen four three three. He got fifteen four. So I'm yeah, like, it was oh a good, that was a good routine. Was, he, he, he I thought he'd done routine. it. I thought like he's got a fifteen five. Did he stick his dish? I don't he, think he didn't stick it. That was it, mate. It was the stick. So he took a she hot fifteen four, not point not three three, and then I tell you, I, I got the bronze and Leva was last, and he just picked me with fifteen five. I personally think, anyway, regards to that, I personally, no, I, mean, think, I didn't I, think it were a fifteen five Leva's routine. I thought. I yeah. thought I'd done silver. I always think you get. I always used to think ah, there's a lot of the e, thing with me is a lot of e deductions because he's late. He yeah, turns late, late, really late, yeah, and, so. and he does a lot of like invert catches. Labour might be watching. It's not bro. He's a ledge anyway. Oh no, yeah. Of but anyone who does a straight Kovacs like that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Respect. But what it was, <laughs> it, the the moment of when I was when there was one guy left and I was in second, so I got a medal, Olympic medal. I'm never. The feeling was indescribable. It was like never. I, I got like shivers head to foot my whole body yeah, yeah, filled yeah. with like goosebumps yeah and you had and that, I was just did you have that before have you had goosebumps never, before and you know? I've had goosebumps but I've never felt like that but, I, but remember as well it was just a it wasn't like a I'd done a routine and nailed it that feeling it was because I'm just sat on the chair yeah. and a, a, a number pops yeah, up on the screen yeah. and I'm sat there and how my body could have felt like that I have no yeah. idea but and then I started I felt a bit sick I was like I wanted to cry I couldn't back on I couldn't believe what had just happened. I was like, yeah. and then oh. yeah, I mean, it was a time. And then when I got the medal, I looked at my family and I couldn't hold the tears in. It was just yeah. one of those. That's when it, you realize how much it means to you and how much work you has gone into that. Yeah, 